Get up to the hotel. Please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Dear God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make... Try not to cough up a diseased lung. I'll be fine. Just pretend there's a carton of smokes at the top of the hill. You're right. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying? You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that, right? We've known that for about two hours. Go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab one. These were shots leading up to the house. Don't hit the whole journey. Kate, talk into camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dingman. Discretion is Lonnet Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a check then. Is Kate's face ready? I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house. And... Start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. You'll steal some more shots, right? Obviously. Mr. Dumet is being really restrictive. I notice. I want you to get a look around without him knowing. A man is entitled to his privacy. He's caging. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Okay. Did you get your baby ego again? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh, my God, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up in Glendale? Oh, right. OK. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. This is taking too long. 
Hey, guys, hurry up. We're on it. Jesus, that is loud. Man, it's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... It doesn't look too serious. The warning about everything falling into the ocean. I'm gonna say we trusted and not die. Nah, this sign is something the lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Hard disagree. Listen, Mark, I just wanted to say, um... Thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging. To work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess we do. I'd like to take a couple weeks off, go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours, you know. I got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on my own. You should do the same. Take some time out. If you got any family, you can go and bother. Oh, well. No, Mrs. Lonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job? <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> Married to the job. Christ, what the hell is that? A mannequin, you know, just hanging out. Maybe it's part of some old museum display or something. Right, that's probably it. Looking at the light on the mist. How is that going to fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly. We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. And taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. ask you something and get a straight answer, you know, without you making a smart-ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. Fine. Uh, tell me the truth. 
Is there any saving this show? Maybe. If there's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B-roll. That's not gonna save our asses. Watch your head. <sighs> he could have told us to dress for a trek. Try not to fall and die. I don't want to see Mark cry. Thanks for the concern. Really. I wonder where this goes. It's straight up and down the hill. Yeah. But what's on the other end? Do you live out here on this island? Get down. With your family? My wife is... She died. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Come on. We're about there. They didn't see us. Let's go. This is ridiculous. There's nothing out here. wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. This reminds me of shit summer camps. Okay. If I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. You see the control panel? It's trashed. I don't even think there's power. 